And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Wednesday, June 5th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys, as always, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link, that is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So, with that being said, let's get into what we are going to talk about for today. So, we're going to start off the show. We're going to talk about Christian McCaffrey getting a new deal. Break that down. And then, in the second part of the show, I'll continue my schedule breakdowns. We'll talk about the Saints schedule for the 2024 season. Then, in the third part of the show, I'll talk about Justin Jefferson and some comments he made after his new deal, kind of talking about a few things, including the quarterback battle that's going on between Sam Darnold and and J.J. McCarthy. Then in the fourth part of the show, we'll talk about Stefan Diggs and his comments on leaving Buffalo and going to Houston. So we'll get into that. And then in the final part of the show, I'll talk about some comments made by Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni on them signing Saquon Barkley and how he likes to poke fun at Giant fans. So we'll get into that as well. So let's get into the first topic, which is talking about Christian McCaffrey. So he got a new deal. A two-year, $38 million extension with the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, the extension is worth $19 million per year, and he remains the highest-paid running back in the NFL, and he deserves that. Uh, McCaffrey's previous contract was signed with the Panthers back in 2020, and that averaged a little over $16 million per year. He was set to earn $11.8 million in 2024 and $12 million in 2025 before the extension. And he's now set to earn $62.2 million over the next four years, averaging $55.55 million per season. He has $24 million in fully guaranteed money. Earnings include $16 million in 2024 and a little over $16 million in 2025. Now, compared to other running backs, Alvin Kamara is earning $15 million annually. And he signed that in 2020. Jonathan Taylor's deal, $14 million annually, the three-year contract that he signed recently, uh, $42 million. And Saquon Barkley, over $12.5 million annually, signed that three-year deal with the Eagles. So that's kind of in comparison to some of the other running backs. And then looking at McCaffrey's stats from 2023, he was unbelievable. 1,459 rushing yards on 272 carries and 14 rushing touchdowns. He also had 564 receiving yards on 57 catches and 7 receiving touchdowns. And like I said, I mean, he deserves every dollar because that's how great this guy is. The extension keeps McCaffrey under contract until 2027 when he will be 31 years old. And yeah, he's getting up there in age for a running back, but he's showing no signs of slowing down and when he was with the panthers you know he dealt with injuries uh, towards the end of his tenure there and it kind of seemed like you know he was getting to that point where he was just injury prone but knock on wood he's been relatively healthy with the 49ers he really has not missed time now he's dealt with injuries while he's playing but really hasn't missed any time with them and that's been such a great spot for him and that's really taken the 49ers offense to another level. Because, I mean, they've had some good running backs. Uh, Elijah Mitchell, his rookie season, he was a good running back. But, I mean, Christian McCaffrey just elevates that offense. And to go along with the, guy, with the guys that they have there in George Kittle and Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel. And, you know, with Brock Purdy playing well at the quarterback position. I mean, this is one of the best offenses in the NFL. And Christian McCaffrey has a lot to do with that. That's why... He was the focal point of the offense in the Super Bowl. I mean, they just kept force-feeding it to him. And, you know, I, I mean, th this 49ers team is really talented. But, you know, like I've talked about a lot on this show, they've come up short. And they're trying to get over that hump and win a championship with this group. And some of these other guys are looking to get paid. You know, the 49ers, they paid Juwan Jennings recently. Now they paid Christian McCaffrey. You know, Brandon Ayuk's looking for a new deal. 
that's what we're waiting for, and we'll see if that ends up happening. But they pay, They went out and they paid McCaffrey, gave him an extension. So that's just another 49er that's gotten paid that isn't Brandon Ayuk. But, I mean, Christian McCaffrey has been unbelievable with the 49ers. I mean, his first full season, like I said, it, it was – I just read you the stats. It was great. And I actually wanted to look at his stats from the previous season, if I can pull them up. Because he did split some time with the Panthers and the 49ers the previous season. Oh, yeah. So, with the 49ers in 2022, had 159 carries, 746 yards, and six touchdowns. So, in total, with the Panthers and the 49ers, he had over 1,000 yards. He had over 200 carries, and he had eight rushing touchdowns. Um, but, yeah, in 2020... Missed time due to injury in 2021. Missed some time due to injury. But these last two years, he's been healthy. And I think that's been that's been key for him and for the 49ers. And I think I, I, I saw something that... I, I don't know. I, I saw an article about him talking about, you know, his conditioning. You know, trying to, you know, keep himself in shape. I mean, obviously, he's always in shape. But that might have had something to do with, you know, him changing how he goes about things that might have had something to do with why he's been able to stay healthy these last couple of seasons. Um, maybe he wasn't doing something right uh, the previous couple of seasons, and that's why he was banged up so much. But also because, you know, he, the, the position he plays, I mean, you're going to receive some punishment. Um, so that has something to do with it. Because that's, I mean, like I said, he may have played every single game last year pretty much. Uh, I don't think he. I don't think he played in the regular season finale, but he was still dealing with nagging injuries. But he still managed to play. Um, but he didn't miss any time like he did in 2020 and 2021. But I think that he's kind of changed uh, some things, and that's why he's been able to, you know, not miss time, um, which is, which is great because you know he's one of the best players, not just running back wise, but in the NFL and. He's an exciting player to watch. So, you know, the fact that he's able to stay on the field, stay healthy, you know, that's great because, you know, we can continue to watch him. And, the, I mean, the other thing, too, is he's in a good spot with the 49ers. You know, like I said, he was the focal point in the Super Bowl. But, you know, I, I mean, there's other guys that can carry the load a little bit. You know, it doesn't have to just be him. Because in Carolina, you could argue that, yeah, that's what he – he was. He was the main guy. I mean, they also had DJ Moore there as well. But still, I mean, McCaffrey was the guy. Um, now in San Francisco, you got, like I said, other guys that could take the load off of you. You know, I mean, Debo Samuel could take take the ball out of the backfield as well. You know, um, you know, George Kittle could take over a game. Brandon Ayuk could take over a game. Just mentioned Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel could take over a game. Uh, I know... He had a monster game against the Eagles in the regular season last year, so that's just one example. But they got weapons everywhere. So, you know, it's nice for McCaffrey that, yeah, he might get a heavy workload, but there's also other guys that, like I said, could take the load off of him. And, you know, at least they got him for, you know, a few more seasons with this new extension. So he's secured. Now we got to see... Like I said, what are they going to do with Brandon Ayuk? Is he going to be there, or is he going to be gone before the season starts? We'll have to wait and see. But they did draft a receiver. They drafted Ricky Pearsall. So that could be his replacement. That could be Debo Samuel's replacement. Maybe they just trade Debo Samuel out of nowhere. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. But, yeah, I, I mean, this is, uh, like I said, McCaffrey deserves this deal. And... You know, they're gearing up for a 2024 season where I think they're going to be a really good team once again. Um, the conference is going to be better. But I still look at them as the team to beat. Now, again, the, the pathway is going to be tougher because I just think the conference is going to be better. And even last year, they almost lost to the Packers and they almost lost to the Lions. And those teams aren't going anywhere. And you figure the Eagles are going to be better as well and be back more towards 
the team that was, you know, going to the Super Bowl against the Chiefs a couple years ago. I think we're going to see more of that team. So we'll see what happens. But this 49ers team is still really good. And like I said, I, I think they're still the team to beat. But it's going to be tougher. So we'll see if they can get over the hump in 2024 and get back to a Super Bowl. So, but that's that, that. That's my thoughts on on that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Christian McCaffrey's new deal, and how do you see him performing in twenty twenty four? I mean, he's still gonna have a great season. Um, I mean, I I think you could lock that in. Um, but we'll see how he does, and we'll see if he can uh, you know, break that streak for most uh, uh consecutive touchdowns. Cause I mean, he they were trying really hard. I I know he he ended up losing it against the Jaguars because they put Sam Darnold in, but they left McCaffrey in, and they were still trying to get it for him, but it didn't pan out. But yeah, McCaffrey's like a lock to score a touchdown every single week, basically. So, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about McCaffrey's new deal and how do you see him performing in 2024. So, we are going to take our first break, and when we come back, we'll talk about the Saints' schedule. I'll break it down, give you my early win loss prediction for them. And that's what we'll do when we return from our first break. So, with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 